And as I told you, we are going to discuss something that really touches on humanity and interest and economy and all that. My name is Sankara Kayesu and this is Y254. This is WCW, this school wellness day. And I am not alone in studio. I am with Queens because it's Queens Wednesday and I know when the camera finally focuses on them, you will appreciate that they are real Queens. One is called after set. So we delve in into the discussion of the day about Zenu. Zuri. Mm -hmm. So say say both of them in one sentence. My name is Devlin Kiremi. Kiremi? Yes. Sio Kiremi. Kiremi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that Danga is a bit different, but say other things that you think we need to know about you. Yeah, I'm a student at Jake Watt, Jomo Kenyatta University Institute of Agriculture and Technology. I'm a student leader there, I'm the deputy speaker, and yes. Yeah, that's nice. Thank you. We, we were with her on Monday. Yeah. Because uh, she's very resourceful to talk when I busy these coming weeks. And I told her, Devlin, Kirimi, Kirimi. Yeah. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, and then teacher is here again. Hi, teacher. Mm -hmm. Hi. It's been a while. Yeah, How been are away. You? I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, put you Nick, I went back to school. Oh, yeah. Kusama, ma, 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 eh, Professor Magoa uh, ordered that we go back to school. Oh, yeah. So you're fresh from school? I'm Mofuna. fresh from school. We've not closed. Yeah. I just came uh, shortly and I'll be back by Friday. I won't say what you came back to do. No, you it's don't uh, have to. I, I, say, <laughs> I, won't, I won't say about my suspicions, <laughs> but those which you knew for the first time, mm -hmm. you introduce yourself. I'm a teen you know, charity. I'm a mother. I'm a teacher and a student, of course. Okay. And a safe sex crusader. Uh uh. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. She said something that she doesn't want to repeat. So, <laughs> rush for YouTube. YouTube went, it was Kevin on the server. Mm -hmm. And a train what to Kufanya safe sex. <laughs> yes. I am is there. And mm -hmm. that touches with the topic of today. Yeah. Because we're going to discuss about child support contention. Kumekwana contention sana kwa child support. Some men see that they are being overburdened. Some ladies think that they are being burdened. Some men think that ladies are overquoting what they should be giving. But now the pertinent question today is if you are broke and jobless, eh, how will you do the child support thing? I have so many responses already in social media, and I will do as much as possible to sample as many as possible so that we go on together. So we are going to do this child support. I know it's it's emotive, about a bit emotive. It's uh, something that people have debated for very long. Kitamo, uh, when a child, when, when, when a girl gave birth back at her home before being, before getting married, I don't think there was so many of this. Even the children of the fathers, the children, the fathers of these children, they were not looking for like one well, and who was the father of the child. Mm -hmm. The parents of this girl could take this child as one of their own. Uh, Alicia too, there could be Matusiwa, one or two insults there, maybe this child could uh, see or maybe the mother could uh, be insulted or bad mouthing about that. But at long last, the family would adopt this child as one of their own. Why did this change? Oh, let's start with you, Devlin. Uh, personally, I think it's the era we are in. Things have changed, things have evolved over time. I think, uh, yeah, it was there. Like in uh, the generation we are outgoing, even our grandmothers will take care of maybe the daughter's children. Mm -hmm. But right now they feel like we are, it is your responsibility as a mother. You give birth to a child when you're young, it is your responsibility to bring it up. Mm -hmm. But you know, Kitambo, Unge Toka Shule, Watch your mother come to turn and you go on. Yes. Yeah. Now things are changing over time because the everything is changing. The economy is going up. We are parents. If, for example, we were, mama yako, you are six of you. 
you are six girls. Yes. Kila mtu alete mtoto wake nyumbani kwa mm -hmm. mama yake. Mm -hmm. How will that feel? It is a burden. It's so nice. I think it's the era we are we are getting in. It mm. is bringing, it is giving birth to so many changes. Yeah. Teacher, mm -hmm. you, you are People teacher. are exposed yes. first and uh, so many things. Let, let me say, years back people are doing things out of ignorance. Mm -hmm. But you see now people know, uh, people are striving to live. Life is very difficult from every end. Mm -hmm. So people are straining. You find that uh, we are also brought up by single parents. You find that maybe your mother is a single parent. Mm -hmm. We also want to add uh, other responsibilities. It becomes very difficult. Yes. And you see identity is very important. Oh, identity. Very important. Mm -hmm. When I give birth today, it is very important that my child gets identified with mm -hmm. The, with, the, with the father's family. Uh, yeah, it was a mistake that our parents did that we should not do right but now. But even now, teacher, mm -hmm. I, I hear people, most mothers, mm -hmm. uh, this taking care of their children's children, mm -hmm. saying that, you know, like, media are not a mama, we are not a true charity. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like the mother has owned the child. Till the child knows that this is not my mother, mm. Devlin. But for how uh, long? Mama knew you. So the same woman mm. that Devlin is calling mom mm. is the same woman the child is calling mom. You see, it may not, that trick may not work for long. It it's will reach a point. It's a, trick. it's a trick, of course, because a child needs to know who the mother is mm -hmm. from a very tender age. I need to know that this one so is my mother, and so and so is my uh, grandmother, and so and so is my aunt. Mm -hmm. It is very important that you tell uh, a child his or her relatives when they're still young. Mm -hmm. But you see, when a class six or a class seven gives birth, it becomes very difficult. The mother has to accept and to uh, <clears throat> adopt the child. But you see, it is good, but not better. There's a better option for that. What is the better option? Uh, identifying the child with the father's uh, family. Mm -hmm. If possible, let the mother-in-law take the child. Why mm -hmm. not mothers-in-law? Why not the mothers or the fathers of those children taking the children? Why, why, why is it always on the lady's side? Mm -hmm. Let the child go there so that uh, he or she gets uh, identified mm -hmm. with that family. And, and she knows the, that the that's not the, the root. root. Mm -hmm. It's now, you know, the teacher charity is talking about this child gave birth at a very tender age. Yes. And the possibility is that she conceived with a young, with a minor who cannot take mm -hmm. responsibility yeah. at high. I think this is why they were being adapted to the yeah. family. Mm -hmm. But now here comes a, a, a situation where this lady has given birth, but she conceived with a broke man, a broke, poor, jobless man. You know the economic situation of our country. This guy cannot even feed himself. He, walk from, from, he walks from city center to Gidurai 45, where he stays. He doesn't even have something to eat. And now there you are with child support. Simu. See, we treat this the same way we treated the, the boy who is not responsible. From my opinion, I feel like um, before you give birth or the whole process of giving birth, as a mother, you're supposed to be fully prepared that when this kid is going to get here, you are also going to be responsible responsible with or without that man. I feel like we have put so much pressure on these men. For example, a broke man who is jobless, honestly speaking. Even if we, we want that child support, how is, how is he going to help the mother? Are you blaming the mother for <laughs> being impregnated by a poor man? No, I'm not blaming the mother. Yes. I'm saying the mother is supposed to be responsible herself, with or without man. But let me ask. Oh, let, let, yes. Let, let, let You're me not ask. talking. Let You're me not ask. talking, yes. Can yes, you see, I will ask myself, where does a broke, jobless man get the energy to sweat, to on, to sweat on someone's <laughs> daughter? <laughs> You don't know how those people are energetic. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Anyway. Somebody said, I, I, I read a book called what? The Burdens. Mm. They're saying that is the only t entertainment for the poor. It's so true. It's when true. that is all they can do, they can do And then you see, we are all sexual beings. And you see, it goes beyond our economic status. Yes. It does not know that. Now. And if in any case, those who are rich are never. 
Yeah. 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 Sambili moja na nusu wamekula sapa mbili wana lala. Maybe Usingizi is not there. They are thinking of where to get the next meal. So, it's just automatic that things will happen. But now, it, it also happened to now poverty in the city. Mm -hmm. There are people who are struggling in the city, but you, as you said, everybody is sexual. They have the feelings and all yeah, that. Now yeah. the child has come. Mm -hmm. You didn't uh, protect as you are talking about safe sex. Mm -hmm. I think you are lagging in your job as a, a, a safe sex I'll educator. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> My next year. <laughs> that people are getting <laughs> the unwanted pregnancies. Mm -hmm. There are no unwanted kids. There are only unwanted pregnancies. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. But now, can you advise this young... They are not couples. They are just maybe my But Kayesu, I don't know why I feel that uh, a woman cannot get pregnant when she doesn't want. Explain. I don't know why I feel so. Explain. You see, for a woman to, to conceive, yes. she must be ready for the child. Or let me say she must be in need of a child. Because okay. there, are so many, there, there are so many ways of preventing pregnancy. You see, we are talking about sex and pregnancy. Yes. Those are two different things. Yes. And a child is a seed, a seed, a fruit of love, yes. a seed of emotions, you see? Yes. So when a child is, is when, when, I, when I want to conceive today, I'll definitely conceive. Yes. When I don't want and I'm a, I'm a woman, I'm exposed, I know how to prevent myself. I won't conceive. And that, uh, and that explains why... Somebody from the Ghana is supporting you, mm -hmm. but I still negate because I don't understand something. Mm -hmm. Let's get back to the play. Mm -hmm. Are you also of the opinion that women only get pregnant when they want? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Actually, no. I will differ with that. Mm -hmm. Because there are some mm -hmm. people out there back in the village mm -hmm. who do not have the exposure. They don't know how to prevent. They don't even know about safe days. They are young girls who Those just are the exceptional up. cases. No, they are there. Those are exceptional, are exceptional cases. Someone who is there. young, that's, a, that's someone who cannot even defend her reasoning ability. It's okay. different. Okay. Someone who is not exposed how? Family planning is everywhere. It's done in the, in the public hospitals and uh, it, it, it's said all over. I over the radios, over the... I have a question mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. You want to mean back in your village there is no girl who got pregnant because they did not know about... Um, Condoms or um, family planning. That levels. is the exception of cases I'm talking yeah. about. No, they, they are there. They are, they are still there. there. I Unless... want to bring your debate back to the city. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that every girl who has been impregnated by a man or say accident, the man is not husband, it's always been deliberate? But what do you mean by accident? When it comes to bed matters. Did a bed break somewhere? <laughs> what, do you mean? what do you mean by that? You know, when you are uh, maybe in a club and then things went out of hand and then you found some you that, is some, that is someone uh, under influence of something and yes. that is the exceptional cases i'm talking about and no more and so this explains why this, many, this yeah. explains why my mother is not giving birth right now why, why, why she is with my father every day okay. a woman only conceives when she wants i'm telling you the truth and, and so you, you, you get the accident, I doubt. <laughs> it's there, but I doubt. I yeah, really it's doubt. there. She said it's there. That is why we should not overlook the fact that mm -hmm. it is there. Mm -hmm. You said like the um, you said the safe space, oh, sex space, whatever foundation mm -hmm. you have. Mm -hmm. It is that um, space that you need to get there to those girls who are there at home. Mm -hmm. They don't have the exposure, so it is you. They mm. re they are exceptional. That is why they don't have that um, knowledge about these things. So if we told them, if we taught them that you can prevent pregnancies, mm. I think we can cap such things. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's I, true. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fixated somewhere mm -hmm. of the ladies who surprised you with a message that I am that pregnant. pregnant. I didn't see my period. <laughs> a city lady. But uh, you see, most of us, most of us you, use it as a trip, yeah. as, as a trap. We want to okay. trap men out of it. The same way men can also use the pregnancy thing to trap a woman. Yes. How? How, how, do, how can a man <laughs> use pregnancy thing to trap a woman? They know that definitely when you get pregnant, you, 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 you may you want to go. You won't go. Mm -hmm. Yes. You are most likely to get married to him. Yes. So, so it's a trap. So and then when things, when things go south, now they start making noise on social media. My baby 
daddy has refused to do this, this and that. Uh -huh. Well, in the instance, they walk, they use their legs walking to that man's house. They got pregnant. Nobody knew. Now when things are... And this time, Akiena, anajua tu naenda kukua pregnant for this man. That's in you. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. people do that. Some uh, girls majority, do that. Yeah. Is, is it majority? Ma that's no. Majority or just... Can't be majority. Yeah, just a, a few. A number. A number, number. of them. Yeah. Yes. Most of them are accident. You are agreeing now. <laughs> Which Most accident? Of them are, they, yes. they are not deliberately <laughs> looking yeah. for it, mm -hmm. but now they find themselves uh, buried. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Do you mm -hmm. agree mm -hmm. that, Chetanit? Uh, partly. Oh, partly, <laughs> partly, partly. <laughs> it is there actually. Partly. That is why I was saying mm -hmm. it is the responsibility of the person who is going to get pregnant mm -hmm. to know that you are going to bring this kid. Yes. You are going to feed the kid, you are going to have a shelter for that kid mm -hmm. with or without a man. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Nine months you is a lot of time to, 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 to mm -hmm. take care of your mm -hmm. baby. Mm -hmm. Devlin, yes. are you saying that girls should not depend on men to take care yes, of their children? Yes, I'm saying, I am saying that mm, women should not depend on men so that they can bring up their children. They should bring them bring them up on their own. Yes. They should not be bothering men with yes. me to men. Yes, yes. I, I, Especially I jobless men. Okay. I support yes. co-parenting. Uh -huh. Every man who sires a child <laughs> out should be responsible. Mm -hmm. But this is a jobless man. Yes, very broke. So, 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 uh, in as much as he should jobless, make an effort, of, but mm -hmm. of but he doesn't have. Yes, you see, that is now a different case. It's 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 a, it's under it's understandable. Now, mm -hmm. in for example, you are pregnant and your man is jobless. God forbid. Mm -hmm. You want to tell me you're going to wait for that man until he gets money, no? Ah, definitely, no? Devlin, yes. I want to put mm -hmm. you on spot for something. Mm -hmm. You are here, Devlin, I see you, you are in a mm -hmm. childbearing age, you can get a child. Mm -hmm. And now you are jobless, eh? and then you find yourself pregnant. Mm -hmm. What will you do? What will you do, knowing that the man who has done this to you is also jobless? What will you do? But Kayesu people have relatives around. Are you alone in the whole world? Are you saying that you should beg relatives to help you take care of your child? No, why not? Why not? If you're not, <laughs> what if you are jobless and the man is also jobless? Should the child suffer because you cannot just speak out to get help? Will no. you make a WhatsApp group of, of, if of possible, helping yeah. support child? Uh, if but possible, some relatives, relatives are very bad. They some, but not all. There. But not all. You mean you cannot just have all bad relatives? But what they about get friends, tired. They colleagues? get tired of spoon feeding you and your child. You have to go out of your way to look for a job. You have. You'd rather go and sweep someone's compound, mm -hmm. you feed that child. It's true. Mm -hmm. That's see? true. But even the relatives are going to get tired. Honestly speaking, personally, if I was maybe feeding my cousin who has a child, mm -hmm. every time, hey, hey, uh, hey cousin, Masiwe Mesha. Masiwe Mesha, hey. What, 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 I get tired. Honestly, Teacher. everyone It's will. true. But now, okay, so let me ask you a question. The father is yes. jobless, yeah? Yes. And the mother is also jobless. Yes. So what do you do? That is what I was asking. And you've me. just given but, she said, You are not in a position to go out and look for a job with your condition. And you see you are also babysitting the child. What do you do? It's it's a bit hard, it's tricky. But now tell me about your relative. You must be having a very good relative. You must do, you cannot do you, just are you saying your relatives can help you take care of your people? Of they've your helped kids? me. Your aunties, your uncles, they've your cousins. helped me. My, my my mother has always been there for me. When things are difficult, you see, it does not mean that uh, that they've been helping me all along. Yeah. This is just something that has just happened abruptly. I've conceived and uh, the father <laughs> to, to the to, to the to the unborn child is jobless. You see, when you become open and I tell my mother this is what has happened and I want to keep the pregnancy, yes. the child is soon coming. Yes. Kindly help me. You know, you, you and you are... see, during that pregnancy, the, it comes with a lot mm -hmm. of challenges. Yes. You are sick, the, 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 the nausea and everything. Yes, you are moody. Yeah, you, you can't, don't want to see that, and, and, and in that condition, who can employ you <laughs> in that condition? Nobody. I, I feel so like... you just reach out, just talk, speak it out and people Let will Let us see this out. point, Devlin, mm -hmm. just this point of relatives. No, you are seeking solutions. Mm -hmm. on what you can do if you are, have a child with a poor man. Mm -hmm. with a, I think poor is extreme. Let's say jobless and broke man. Mm -hmm. So one of the solutions that I want both of you to agree or disagree mm -hmm. is that you involve relatives to help you taking care of the child. You don't bother that man. That is about going to teacher charity. Mm -hmm. uh, do we note that down? Are you agreeing? Are you I think proving? that is a short plan. It's mm -hmm. not a long plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If oh. we're we gonna break it down, let, yes. is, let us say that is a short plan. Honestly, mm -hmm. we can't bother our relatives 
every time with our burdens. They can be there for us for the first three months when you have given birth, but what happens after? After then you can go see. You'll be in a position now can, to, yeah. to go out, to go out and look for a job. Yeah. So, okay, so you agree partially that yes. as... Yes, Shetland relatives, go to them. Your the mother will never months, forsake you. The first three months, mom, mm. uncle. Yes, mm. okay. auntie, yeah. So do we say that we just leave this man alone, this poor? Yeah, once you understand him, you see what is important is understanding his mm, condition. Mm. When he doesn't have money, where will he get the money from? Or let, let him also bother his relatives. Yes. Or okay. he bother yours. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And the man does not uh, have <laughs> In whatever situation, you will also be bothering him to bother relatives. You'll tell him, Ugo na mama, mwadea kutumia pesa mdoto wa kule. That's a yes. A man has not given birth, he can go out there and look for a job. Mm, a well-paying mm, job. Mm, yes. What are you waiting for? Same Do you have job. to go to the Relatives. Devlin, we said he is jobless. Ma, he's job, jobless, broke and jobless. Honestly, there are these uh, jobs that people get per day. Like, Leo. Mjengo. Eh, Mjengo is there. He's a man. Hey, hey. And that Mjengo, that Mjengo is just there when you're talking about it. But when you go out to look for it, you may take a whole week, a whole, yes. year, a whole year, it's looking for that Mjengo. And it is not... It's, it's not really regularly a point of Mjengo. Please, when I take a call off, I saw some day near our plot, yes. when some guy was carrying a block this big, eh? mm -hmm. he's carrying about three of them in his shoulder. He must mm. And going to seventh floor. <laughs> Mm. Going to seventh floor, <laughs> and then he did that the whole day. I sympathized with this man. So don't be quick to mm. tell to send your boyfriends to go to the <laughs> jail. <It's laughs> I'm just saying there are these jobs you can get in a day. You see, lazima out after a job, yeah, weeky, I'm a month. You yes. can get these small, small jobs. They can get income. Mm, the problem now, I don't know whether it's influence or something mm -hmm. but uh, it has been tuned that child upkeep must be paid more no matter the situation it must be paid now this topic was inspired let me tell you by a celebrity called DJ Shiti mm -hmm. yeah. yeah he sent 150, 150 bob, bob. Uh, to the girlfriend for child upkeep yes. and then the social media don't know whether this girl <laughs> went and told somebody <laughs> the social media came up roaring yeah. about it see mm -hmm. ikido lazima like as we talking now see lazima alipe child upkeep kama hawezi ju e alilipa 150 because it's like there was pressure somewhere lazima alipe na hana Hana, lazima lipe. Si si lazima. Si tu agri kuwa. Let us agree now here that si lazima. Uh, ni lazima anyway. Partly. <laughs> La, ye pia sumbuke. Le, yeah. let, let him get that money for that. Now, let me tell you. Let me ask you. When I've given birth today, you see there is postpartum depression and everything. And then you, 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 you've, you've left all the burden to the mother. And then the mother decides to keep quiet. To bother the relatives, as I was saying before, and then later on you resurface that you now want to see the kid. You yeah. now want to. Uh -huh. You see, it becomes very difficult. As him to to Why to him to to let him get responsible from day one, from the moment you realize that you are expecting a child. Yes. Let him get responsible. That's why, other than sending money, let him keep calling you. Let him yeah. console you during the, the, the delivery day. Yeah. Let him yeah. take you to the hospital. You see, you'll see. Is 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 moves. Yeah. You see that he's trying. Yeah. Mm. But when he goes away, you you just get depressed. Mm. Yeah. But I feel yeah. like um, even men, if they have something, they can spare some for the mother and the kid. Instead of these people who show like they have so much money, they're dead beats. But now if you are broke and jobless now maybe Leo may make three hundred bob, mm -hmm. it is okay to spare one mm -hmm. fifty bob for the kid, mm -hmm. then you can use one fifty for yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one even I as a mother I can appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I feel like you are not selfish. You at least you, you just care. don't have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, now it comes to a situation where people take to social media. Uh, it's very common. Yeah. Yeah. To post, I think this is where even this did yeah. came from. Yes. Uh, you go to social media and post a man and say this man has refused to pay uh, child upkeep, and then people, people, especially if it's a celebrity, people mm -hmm. start 
mm, mocking. mocking that man. Mm -hmm. Every social, like everybody now posting you on those, those uh, other pages like Kilimani Moms. Mm. People are like this lady's warning ladies that if <laughs> this man seduces you, <laughs> don't accept. Run, run. This guy will get you pregnant and then he will not be responsible. Let's talk mm. about this. I feel like uh, men sometimes are being irresponsible. Like for example, you have the money, but you can't spare some for the mother of your kid, but you can spare some to go out there, get women to sleep with, mm -hmm. and you also have a sidekick or you also have another girlfriend, and you're spending on that girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Yet here, the mm -hmm. mother of your kid is mm -hmm. sleeping hungry, mm -hmm. maybe so that the small she has, she can feed the kid. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it is the man who who is supposed to be responsible. You have some money, spare some for your girlfriend, or mm -hmm. for your mother, mm -hmm. not your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. You can forego the girlfriend part. Mm -hmm. Let me spend much on the girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Let me send the baby mama something. You know what you are saying, Devlin, is what has brought contention. Be contention between mother-in-law and their daughters-in-law. <laughs> yeah, they are copy competing for the son's love, for that man's love and affection and provision and all that. Are you supporting what this girl is saying? Yeah, what I'm saying that, first, uh, on what you asked before, someone taking uh, their issue to social media, when it reaches that point, it means that the woman is in serious depression, let me tell you. Oh. Maybe she has talked to everyone, nobody has offered si that audience. Si kwake. And that is the only place where, or maybe the man has blocked her everywhere. How, uh, uh, how, how do you reach him? Through social media, because at long last she, he'll, he'll come to know. Mm -hmm. that, that, is what it, that is what I've, you see that a, a man gets you uh, pregnant today, he blocks you everywhere. <laughs> what do you do? How do you reach him? Social media, he just go to kill him and him and yes. put it there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially celebrity. Yeah, yeah, but if he decides yes. to cooperate, yeah. you know, like like mm -hmm. you do mm -hmm. But if, if, if he becomes tough, you become tougher. Mm -hmm. Apparent. Now you meet up there. Maybe yeah. think it's too much on boy child. Maybe what this boy child, child has done this mm -hmm. because I'm a person. I'm a person. Communication you know, you is very talk, important. You can talk to the mother. Tell her, by the way, Miss Inado, I'm expecting this amount of money this time. <laughs> now when you see who it is, you can say to my person, I will go there and I will put Post. it there. Yes, because now you've blocked me. You don't, you're not keeping your word. You what can't I'm, reach him. Yes. What if I've not blocked you? I'm just telling you that I don't have money. It's okay. Maybe. I, you know should, I, 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 I should understand that you really don't, don't have, have money. Oh. I'll investigate and know whether you really have money or not. <laughs> when you, you have money, you're friends. not giving me and g keeping on uh, mm -hmm. giving me false hopes. I'll still put you there. Yes. I. Yeah. Hey, hey. Okay, let's get to when the child maybe gets a bit bigger. Uh, mm. Class one, class two. Uh, if maybe there has not been support, there has not been support from the dad at all. Will you be, will you open up and tell your child, you know, Babako is so and so, I'll one day take you to your, your dad. Uh, some people conceal, just say, I'll show you your dad when the right time comes. Maybe Baba na pita pitanga hapo, but you, because he's poor, you don't want to associate the child with the, with the, with the dad. Is it right? But you see, yes, so nothing will change the fact that he's the father mm. of your kids. Mm -hmm. However poor or jobless he is, mm. let the child know that yes. so-and-so is my father. Actually, mm. yeah. And just be positive. Being that you have issues with, with, with the father, you should not drag in the child into mm. it. Let the child and the father ha uh, uh, have, uh, have time. Let them bond, let yes. them have their own time, okay. their nice time. Yeah. And yeah. it is okay to introduce your child to the father mm -hmm. as it is a right possible, yes mm -hmm. it is a right let him know him or her know that you have a dad somewhere this is your dad as somebody said uh and you this pathetic pathetic <laughs> thing here is your dad uh, this uh, no, that, that, is, thing that is wrong and is rude. Your dad. Yeah. that is wrong and rude that is like telling your kid, please disrespect your father i mm. give you that chance to do that mm. you should at least if you are able because we find like sometimes women have the money and uh, the baby daddy is jobless i'm in a stable job i can get some money ask the father out with the kid mm -hmm. so that yeah. they can bond let mm -hmm. them have fun mm -hmm. leave them for some time mm -hmm. but but yeah 
you should do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's mm. nice. So, yes. so can, can them, can them our was channel and you wanna, they, they, they mis, misintroduce it is the wrong. dub to the it, channel. It is very wrong. In whichever situation yes. you find yourself in, mm. you have to maintain the highest level of social and emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let your child not grow up knowing that you have issues with her father. Mm. Those are things that you can do behind the curtains. Mm. Mm. When you are together, just pretend. Even if it is a matter of faking a smile, just fake a smile for the sake of that child mm. coming up. There's also this situation here where the girl's parents are very rich, very rich, very able. But this other place, this other guy, is jobless and the parent is also poor. So the parents are blocking this guy from reaching the child or from reaching you. He had warned you several times before you got pregnant that get away from this poor, he will, he will infect you with poverty. <laughs> and, then, and then the child came. So after the child had, has come, then this guy is blocked, blocked from accessing. In fact, you see, you see, Kayasu, every other every other parent will get bitter mm -hmm. for, for when, when when a child gets pregnant yes. and it's not yet mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. I think it is that bitterness that may uh, make a parent speak. So, but all in all, it's not in order. It's not in order. But yeah, it's not me, in order. Yes. But for me, uh, from where I come from, you are told like. Listen to what your mother tells you. Mm -hmm. Don't overlook whatever mm -hmm. she says. Mm -hmm. Because in one way or the other, it is going to end up just like she warned you. Mm -hmm. yes. So mm -hmm. it is only right to respect your mother and to listen to her. But love is blind. If no, you, mean. you can. And you know that we were yes. talking about the people who are uh, very hard to. To advise. <laughs> he did not say that. <laughs> Number but one on the list is a, a young girl in love. You cannot advise her. Yeah, she but will at not least, take it. Uh, well, the consequences are there, her. she was told. <laughs> yes. Your mother will tell you, really, come here. Yeah. Yeah. I told you, yeah. I warned you. Mm -hmm. So at that moment, you will be very, very feel, you'll feel like you're guilty. inferior, guilty. Mm -hmm. You'll feel that guilt pile up because you were one, but you did not listen. So, Devlin, when, when your mom tells you to stop dating a poor man, you'll stop immediately? No, it's not a poor man. It's not about a poor man. It's about that man. If he sees he's not the best for the kid, he will tell you, your mother should not um, hide it from you. Mm. Even when we are introducing our spouses to our parents, your parents can know. This is the right guy, this is not the right guy. Mm. And when you're told, it is only wise to listen. Because we have, we have seen people, their relationships scrub just because you did not listen. Yes. But if you listened, uh, I think we have three chances to fall in love with people. Mm. If the first one fails, second, the third will not fail. Akuna <laughs> Teacher, yes. uh, Chanu and me on something here mm. about uh, transferring fatherhood. Can you transfer the fatherhood of your child yeah. to another man with whom you are in love now? Maybe They're it's like better, a bit stable. Even, even he can times. pay the milk money and all that. So you say, you tell your kid, uh, Ulio Babako, even though it's not, it's not a biological dad, but now you transfer the fatherhood because the other one is easy. Awezi ama mpendani. Meachana, maybe mm. the, one of the reasons why meachana is that he's not responsible. He's uh, not responsible. And uh, mama aezi to kulipa, aezi afford. Aezi afford is funny. Can you transfer the fatherhood? The awezi, 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 awezi part is funny. That part is funny. Mm. But uh, when someone becomes irresponsible, it becomes very difficult to live with such a person. Because everybody wants to move on in life. Yeah. You, you, you cannot stay with an, an irresponsible man. He has money, but he doesn't want to provide to you. Mm. You move on. Uh, so when you move to the next uh, man, yes. when you, maybe you, you, you divorce yes. illegally, yes. that is, there's nothing wrong in telling your child that so-and-so was your father. But from today, <laughs> <laughs> this is your father. This is your new father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's nothing wrong. You just be open. And then well, when they become of age, when they become of age, me yeah. Sema, I can do it uh. so well and so easily. Because now, if we say, for example, the father of this kid, uh, he's well, is wealthy, he's not providing, he has left me for another chick there, mm. and you tell me I don't, 
move on. I will move on. I, I get another man. Who you see, Baba? And Tomombe Ule ni Baba Yako, but from henceforth in this house, mm -hmm. this is your new father. <laughs> Call him daddy and. Isn't mm -hmm. that confusing that child? No, like, it, 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 but it comes to a situation where this father too, and I come here, we take this up and we talk about. That is now. That is now three. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a part of the young generation. Child number one, yeah, we you, Mr. Sena. I love you. Child number two, three, yeah, we you, young generation. So the idea of question, you will take care of that or call the dad of this big head. To take care of her ch his child, <laughs> mm. me to take care of mine. Yeah. I, I, I can't agree. I can't subscribe to that. Yes, when we mean. when we are, when we meet today, and I'm with my children, and you've accepted to marry me, yes. we have to sign a memorandum of understanding and tell you that, and we agree yes. that now that you are going to be my husband, are you ready to be the father of this child? Where being a father is providing for the child, mm. schooling him mm -hmm. and everything. Loving if he him. accepts, yeah, yes. if he accepts, it's, it's good. If he can't, uh, then so we don't do. even sign to that yeah, contract. We don't. Yeah. Did you say signing a memorandum, memorandum of a legal one with a lawyer? <laughs> if possible. <laughs> Because these people change. <laughs> you also give you another child and leave you with, with him or But rather. sometimes they really don't do that, but you agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some men are good, but they're good men are still existing. Yes. There are men who can understand and tell you that just come with your children, however many they are, and take care of them. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and so somebody is married today, but he has five kids. Yeah. yeah. And that now becomes the father. That one can be wrapped. Until you end up with a birth certificate. Everywhere. Everywhere. I tell you. Everywhere. There are situations where a man shows up. Like he was not stable while yes. you, you gave mm -hmm. birth. Mm -hmm. And then after some, say, 18 years, yes. the child starts doing well. Mm -hmm. I know one reporter, a very good reporter, one of these TVs. Mm -hmm. The father saw him reporting on TV. Mm -hmm. And that's when the father showed up. Mm -hmm. And said, hey, that's my kid. I got a foot mama raka sana. Raka sana. I want to meet my kids. Yeah, that's my son. Uh, he is mm -hmm. yeah, just showing up the last minute when the child may be showing. I'm a Peter Kabisa, I'm in the university, I'm talking about papers. Mm -hmm. He was among the top three. So mm -hmm. a, that is mm -hmm. my brain. Eh? Mm -hmm. I love when I show up. Well, umesema, like before Hakwa Sawa, mm -hmm. in this situation, I think it is just okay for the father to be happy for the kid. Mm -hmm. Ukweli hiyo akili ni yake. Why would I say no to him meeting my my my? I love your loyalty. You are a wife, but you are. Utanyekea tu useme. No, not really. It will not be that easy. But umesema usha sema the first statement umesema hakuwa sawa. Yes. But now he wants to meet the kid. It is okay. But in the kwa alitua chanisha uko like in a very disrespectful manner. I'll not even tolerate that. Why are you so unforgiving? Because it. It takes talking, takes communication to, to sample everything out, to lay everything in the open. Just tell me this is it, this is it. But Badai Ukuja will change story. Mm. Me, I'm not even going to take that. Mm. Yes. Your opinion. And I think this is the last, uh, you, you, you combine it with your closing remarks. And you see, Kayesu, most of these rejected children always do well in life. Mm -hmm. yes. a, a larger percentage. Mm -hmm. Uh, when he didn't have, and I understood that he didn't have, sincerely and honestly, mm. I'll tolerate him. Mm -hmm. Yes. But when he just decided to put us aside for his own benefit, mm -hmm. his own gains, mm. he'll not even access the child. Yeah. Aye, okay. I swear. I wish we had the whole, the whole day here to discuss this because it's very important and mm -hmm. it's, it's controversial. So, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, closing remark. Let's start with you. Okay. For me, I'll tell the ladies out there, before you get yourself pregnant or before you give birth, just be prepared to nurture that child as your own. Forget about the man. Mm. If he will be there, well and good. It is a plus one for you. Yeah. Okay, okay. Teacher, pause mm -hmm. them, pause them. 
uh, any, everybody watching us out there, let us know that there's time for everything. You'll get married you'll, even if you decide to give birth daily. Nobody will complain. But before that time comes, just hold. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's nice. Thank you for your opinion. Thank you for making it. Thank you for uh, having uh, your wisdom pod in this subject. We are coming back with Faith to read your social media uh, comments. <laughs>